So what exactly is bloatware? See, any app that's unnecessary is bloatware. For example, if you have an Android phone, your device probably came with Facebook pre-installed. Now, is Facebook an integral part of your phone's functionality? No, it's not. And that is bloatware. Now, if you're wondering, hey, does my phone have bloatware apps? Chances are it does. Let's face it, it actually does. Now, there are three types of bloatware apps on Android. One, third-party bloatware apps like these, and mostly these can be uninstalled easily, so these are maybe okay. The second type of bloatware apps are from the manufacturer itself. Apps like these, most of these can't be uninstalled, they can only be disabled. The third type of bloatware is from Google. I know a lot of these apps are something people use, but what if you use a browser other than Chrome or an email app other than Gmail? Again, most of these apps can't be uninstalled. What are the negatives of such apps? Well, some of these apps take up a lot of storage, some apps send you unnecessary notifications, and some apps just keep running in the background, slowing down your phone. So the question is, how do you remove these system bloatware apps, apps that can't be removed easily? Today, I'm going to tell you a very simple method to remove bloatware apps on your Android smartphone. And yeah, if you want to see more useful videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit that bell icon because we have some really useful videos coming up. Hit it. So here's what you need to do. First, you need to set up ADB on your Windows PC or your Mac or even if you have Linux, it's fine. Just set up ADB. We have a very simple to follow guide on how to set up ADB on all of these platforms. Just follow that and you should be fine. Once you have ADB set up on your laptop, go to your phone and enable developer options. I think you know how. Tap on the build number four to five times and you should get this prompt. After this, enable USB debugging in the developer options. Then connect your phone to your laptop and when you use the ADB command, you should get this prompt on your phone. Just hit allow in this. Now you need to install this, the universal Android D bloater. This is an open source tool available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And this is a tool that helps you remove system apps that can't be removed natively. Just install this and open it up and you should get this UI. I know it looks a little boring and complicated, but it works and that's what matters. So by default, this shows you the recommended Bluetooth apps you should remove from your device. Now you can just select all of the apps in the recommended list and remove them, be done with it. But I have heard some people facing issues on their phones when they do this. So instead, I'll recommend you to only remove the apps that you think you don't need. So what you can do is search for the app you want to remove. I have the Oppo Katen connected here, as you can see in the ADB devices command. And now I can just open up the dbloater tool, select all here instead of recommended. Now I can just search for the apps I want to remove. So I can search for the ColorOS browser, which no one uses and select it. I can search for the Finchel Pay app and select it. I'm also adding the Oppo Roaming app here. Now I can just hit uninstall selection and that's it. These apps are gone. Simple, right? Let me show you another example. So here's the Galaxy F23 connected now, as you can see from the device's name on the top. And I can search for system apps like My Galaxy, the Samsung Max app, AR Zone, and just uninstall them with one click. Yeah, this is good. I know these apps are listed by the package name, so if you have problems finding the app you want to remove, just install this app called Package Name View on your phone. This lets you search for the apps in your phone and see their package name, so you can use the names here to search for them in the Universal Android Debloater. Look, this is a great tool if you want to remove a system app that you think is bloatware and that's annoying you with background usage or notifications, you can remove every single app in your phone with this tool, even apps like the Google Play Store if you want. Yes, the com.android.vending app is the Google Play Store. Now, there are a couple of really important points that you should note about this tool. First up, the apps that you remove don't come back when you install a system update, which is good. But if you do a factory reset, all of these apps come back. This is because the system apps in your phone are part of the system partition itself and the Universal Debloater tool cannot remove apps from the partition itself. Now, I know some of you have questions like, are there any problems or issues after you've removed system apps in your phone? Well, as long as you don't remove critical apps from the OS, it's all fine. Now, one good thing is that the dbloater lists important system apps in sections like expert, advanced, unsafe, and untested. So you should be fine if you stay away from these apps. Anyway, this tool is super useful. And to show you what difference it makes, we removed all the bloatware from a Realme phone, a Samsung phone, a Xiaomi phone, an Oppo phone, and a Vivo phone. And it not only makes the experience better, it frees up a lot of storage. On the Galaxy F23, the storage taken by apps by default is 3.21 GB. And after removing bloatware, one GB of storage was freed up. On the Redmi, 1.7 GB was freed. On the Realme 9 5G, 2.8 GB was freed up. The Oppo K10 gained 1.9 GB and the iQOO 9 SE gained 1.7 GB. That is a lot of storage. Now, while we are doing this test, we also got an idea on which phones have the most bloatware that can't be removed. Now, I'm talking about unnecessary apps, not apps like clock, weather, messages, play store, etc. 
So the Oppo K10 has the most apps that can't be uninstalled, 13 bloatware apps. The Galaxy F23 has 10 such apps, the Realme 9 5G and the iQ9 SE have 11, and the Redmi Note 11 is the best here with only 7 bloatware apps that can't be removed, yeah, it's surprising. Now you can remove these apps with the universal debloater tool, but this gives you an idea of which manufacturer is putting in the most bloatware apps that can't be removed. To conclude things, this tool is super easy to use and I think you should use it to remove all the bloatware from your phones, but I still feel that manufacturers should make removing bloatware from phones a lot simpler. I understand manufacturers add these apps for multiple reasons, but we, the users, should have the choice of what apps we want and what apps we don't. I'm just adding an option in the settings to remove system apps that are not exactly used by the OS itself. I mean, yeah, this tool, this universal debloater tool is good. It works, but it's not something a casual user would try. Plus, there's always the risk of removing apps that might cause problems in your phone. So a native tool, a native option would be way better to remove system apps bloatware. What do you guys think about this? Comment down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. This is the Pitaka Mag Easy Slider.